Hello, BirdBot community. Uh, welcome to another video. This video will be on our recent vote to change the liquidity strategy for year one, uh, the passing threshold for uh, overturning the vote uh, is 70%. Uh, and if you haven't read this Reddit post on liquidity strategy, uh, I'll start to just go through it a little bit. Um, so I've had some recent new thoughts on liquidity strategy when BirdBot first launched. Uh, we were launching a couple days before the Tiny Man exploit and uh, we thought at that time that it would be good to have a dilution strategy because um, it was really early in the project. We didn't really know the appetite of uh, the investors and the crypto community and the birding community. So we thought that a dilution strategy would be, you know, pretty good. It would allow more people to buy uh, bird bot tokens at a lower price. But with the relaunch of Tiny Man, um, and the success of the BirdBot project, uh, we don't feel comfortable necessarily uh, with, you know, uh, pushing past, pushing through the last vote, which was this pretty heavy dilution strategy. I think over the course of the year, we would influx six million tokens or around five million birds token, uh, five hundred million birds tokens or six hundred million birds tokens, uh, which is quite a bit. It would have been fifty million birds tokens each month. Um, but I am here today to tell you that that's not the case because we took a revote 10 days ago um, and it passed with the new <clears throat> liquidity option, which uh, is option A. Uh, option A, I proposed a new ASA pool partnership strategy. Uh, and you can kind of think of this as a B2B expansion strategy um, where if you think of uh, the Algorand birds pool um that's just one trading pool and if you look at the forex exchange um actually my might, might just pull that up real quick uh forex trading pairs uh, so let's just let's see if there's a good one i don't know forex daily hopefully we can find one really quick that's free if not it's totally fine um, but yeah, there's trading pairs. So actually this is a good example. So, um, imagine if, uh, the Algorand and birds pool as a Forex trading pair, uh, a currency pair. So you can imagine birds, uh, as the U S dollar right now. And you can see that the U S dollar is in a lot of different currency pools. Uh, there's four currency, major currency pools that the U S dollar trades in today on the Forex. And you know, that's the Euro, the J Japanese yen the pound and you know the swiss franc um and why they do this is um i mean there's a lot of reasons you want to have easy flowing currency between a lot of different pairs um just from you know a globalization stand standpoint but but my theory on why they do this is because um you're now making the us dollar a um a currency leader in a sense that can essentially be universal across all of uh, the global currencies and you can exchange it for whatever you want. Um, and what this does is it makes, um, it has a couple of effects. Um, one effect is that since you're establishing all these liquidity pools, um, or, you know, trading pools, uh, your dollar needs to be adequately distributed across all these pools. Um, which means that the price of the dollar is likely to be uh, pretty high because everyone's going to be needing them to have on hand to do these currency exchanges. So that's one added benefit. Another added benefit is that if your um, currency, like the US dollar, is in all of these pools and everyone needs to, you know, own all these uh, US dollars to essentially do currency exchanges, um, that makes the US dollar highly um, valuable from a utility standpoint. Um, and it, it, it likely means that since all these pools are doing transactions between multiple currencies and they're all using the US dollar, the price of the US dollar is now going to be pretty stable because there's a ton of different pools that you can trade the US dollar through. Um, so that was kind of my idea, my idea around, um, you know, ASA pool partnerships. You can kind of think of it like the Forex with all of, you know, the currency pools and the currency pairs. Um, and we just want to set up our own 
you know, a lot of currency pairs because we want to establish birds as a dominant trading pair um, that can essentially be traded across lots of different currencies uh, in the Algorand ecosystem. Um, and the only way to start doing that is either you can make your, your asset exceptionally strong, uh, like Algorand, where, you know, it's already uh, the main uh, way to transact between all the assets so it's it's already doing exactly what it wants to do from a forex point of view um or you could like just try to become the biggest asa and then like um you know yieldly for example like it, it's pretty strong so essentially people could just buy yieldly trade into yieldly uh, and then trade it out but i mean even then you still have to go into algo so uh yeah it's it's a heavy benefit to create all of these different you know currency pools um so that's what we proposed and this was option a so we have a little pros and cons so with option a we uh, are going to take the planned tokenomics uh it's going to stay same the same from the adding more liquidity point of view so we're going to keep adding liquidity uh, on a scheduled basis but we're not going to be adding dilution so uh, the 600 million birds tokens uh, that was allocated in the liquidity wallet, uh, excuse me, uh, will not be, you know, dumped into the tiny man open market. Um, it's now going to be shrunk down to a budget of uh, 200 million birds. I think it's actually 250 million birds. Um, and now we're going to be using this 250 million birds to do ASA pool partnerships. Um, and then there's a little bit of pros and cons, and then the expected result it means that the expected result is now that we're not going to have a lot of birds and dumped birds in the market. So price is likely to be higher than expected, but um, that m does mean that since we're probably not going to have as much birds in the liquidity, um, it, it will leave the price of vulnerable um, to airdrops. But our liquidity is really, really strong right now, so I don't really see even this option as like our price vulnerability isn't really an option. Uh, and then option B was to, you know, stick with our last voted liquidity strategy, which was pool dilution. Um, and pretty much the big pro of this is that there's going to be more buying opportunity for birds. So people who haven't entered into the birds market, um, you know, will have a really, really good opportunity to buy birds uh, on a scheduled basis uh, on the first of each month. Um, unfortunately, you know, the, the and fortunately, the pool dilution strategy uh didn't pass because you know some of the cons being that we it'll mess up our rewards strategy for algo stake and potentially yieldly if we go down that path um but yeah having more circulating supply isn't necessarily a good thing from a rewards uh airdrop uh staking pool per perspective because more circulating supply means that you have to issue more rewards um because more people have the opportunity to opt in so pool dilution strategy uh right now actually isn't technically from my point of view a good option um so i said take the time to you know consider both options and luckily uh option a1 with uh you know almost it looks to be like a little over 80 percent of the vote it's probably like 83 percent of the vote uh basing on 97 votes um but yeah it, it passed so option a passed um, so now we are starting the liquidity pool partnership strategy. So the ASA liquidity pool partnership strategy. And we started that, uh, I think it was Thursday or Friday, uh, Thursday. So you can come to tiny man and you can see that we now have a birds and trees liquidity pool. So what we did was we traded, um, Trent, the creator of, uh, crypto trees. Uh, he traded me, uh, 150 million trees. And then I traded him 10 million uh, 400 thousand birds, and then at the same time we clicked the button and we added liquidity to our uh, birds and trees pool or trees and birds pool. Um, and you can see now the effects of that um, on the market. So uh, looking at the distribution, since we started with less birds than there are now, that means that trees is actually stronger than us, and more people wanted to take trees out of this liquidity pool. Um, and then they exchanged birds uh for more trees so that means that trees uh technically is stronger uh right now than when we established it uh established the birds tree pool and we could probably go and check that out right now on tiny shirts so yeah birds is down right now uh by six percent which isn't too bad because our liquidity is insanely high and i'm really happy with that uh but we can go look for crypto trees and crypto trees is going up so uh that's exactly what we were thinking uh with you know the birds and trees pool 
So anytime that the crypto trees asset gets really, really strong, uh, they'll start to trade birds for trees because essentially um, they can. There's an arbitrage situation now with this pool um, that when birds goes, when trees or birds get stronger, essentially there's an arbitrage situation where you can now trade trees for birds and then birds for trees and then you can make a tiny bit of profit um, by trading into. Uh, you know, one of these main liquidity Algorand uh, trees pool uh, and the arbitrage bot will make a little bit of money. But what that will also do is it'll uh, up the price or stabilize the price. Like, let's say something spikes really, really high um, and then it creates an imbalance. Uh, the arbitrage bot will go to, you know, the ASA pool. It'll pull some ASA uh, value from that pool and then it'll come back to the Algorand uh asa pool and uh do essentially like volatility volatility handling or averaging um so you can see that happening now uh so anytime that you know the trees price gets really strong or the birds price gets really strong there's going to be a transaction here and then there's going to be a dollar cost averaging effect or or just like an a pool averaging effect um which is really really good for volatility i see that as a, a benefit um and also we can you know start to earn you know arbitrage bot fees so this helps both of uh you know the companies that are setting up these asa pools it's obviously not a lot yet but you know over time maybe it does build up to something um but yeah uh let's see is there anything else i wanted to go over in this video um not really i mean i guess i'll just pull up you know we do have uh the intention of you know doing more asa pool partnerships and this is just in our discord you can see that uh, this was our announcement, you know, a couple days ago about the uh, trees and bird bot uh, pool. Um, and yeah, we have a year budget, uh, a yearly budget of 250 million birds. We allocated 20.8 million birds for this one, um, which leaves us with a 20.29. I mean, 229 million birds left. So uh, we got to look for more ASA pool partnerships. Um, but yeah. That was just our little update on our liquidity vote and liquidity strategy. So, uh, yeah, uh, look more into, you know, the Forex exchange and how that works. And I'm pretty sure that what we're doing with the ASA pools and how the Forex works is, you know, pretty similar. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this strategy c continues to work out. It looks like it's acting as intended. Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining me uh, and catch you next time, BirdBot community. See you.